Hey guys, this is a two for one video where in the end you're going to be able to decide what SEO plugin you want to go with for your WordPress website. Let's get started. We're going to start off with Rank Math and then Yoast. We are going to install both of the plugins on this previous website that we made before. So you're going to be doing this a lot when you're first building a WordPress website. It's going to click Add New and look for Rank Math. And I'm just going to skip ahead a bit here because I think most of you know how to add a plugin by now if you're searching for Rank Math. The Rank Math sign up process is fairly simple. And it's a nice free account. I'm just going to use a placeholder email just for now. And that's it. There you go, you got your account. Let's go through SEO for your whole website using the fancy smancy uh, rank math setup wizard here. So here it is. We're going to just start the wizard. And this is just to import data from Yoast. It's a competitor SEO, of course. So we are not going to do that now. And you can see here it gives you all these very relatable kind of I'm just looking for pet store uh, yeah it gives you all this kind of relatable drop-down menus that you can just choose depending on your business where where is pet store where animal show okay or not nah. where is it where is it hot nah uh, hot okay animal hospital that's what we're gonna be from now on Lucas is uh, dog hospital yeah dogs need hospitals okay so this logo we had from uh, a previous file like yeah. so you can kind of see how people fell in love with rank math yeah search council code just go through the steps I'm gonna skip that for now because it's a little too advanced and the sitemap is gonna include all these elements of our, of our website. So the Google crawl, let's save and continue. Google crawl engine will be able to go through all our elements. I'm just gonna leave the default settings here. You don't really need much. And that's it. Yeah, so rank math is really lightweight. And it's been known that rank math is uh, trying to compete with Yoast. So they have a lot of free features for now. You know, we're gonna return to the dashboard here and you can see the rank math dashboard all your settings so don't worry about you know getting it perfect the first time the point is it has all these options that are easily just remember how Google finds you is they use a site crawler to kind of guess your address your email pretty much everything about your your website and everything about you even uh, and we in this case, we don't want to be private, right? You, you want to make it as easy as possible for the crawl engine to find you. Uh, in most cases, the crawler will find your website correctly. It will know your address, your business address. But you know, if, if you do some weird like custom stuff to your website, honestly, you, you, you can kind of uh, screw up the uh, search engine. And you can see all the details they, they have here. It's a lot more detailed than and then the Yoast plugin and you can even yeah you can even tie your about page to exactly what your about page is so now what you're doing is basically saying hey Google crawl robot make no mistake this is my contact page I'm gonna tell you right now in most cases if you know you you don't use like weird language and weird words Google's gonna find your contact page and about page correctly Next section here is social meta. If you're already on a social media platform and you plan to use it to promote your blog, you just want to focus on the social media platforms that you are good at here. And remember, Facebook and Instagram, they already do a pretty good job of grabbing your existing metadata. Um, if, if someone does a share on Pinterest, you know, it'll automatically get your URL. If someone does a share on Facebook of your blog post, you know, it'll automatically grab the 
title it'll grab the feature picture it'll so you know fill this out but don't 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 think about it too much SEO for individual posts and pages are very important because if you get a few high-ranking articles, it can really sustain most of the revenue on your blog, you know, whether it's through affiliate links or whether it's through ad space. Uh, we've had a few number one ranking blog posts. You know, it's never really the homepage that ranks number one because if you think about it, there's no, there's no beefy content that, you know, you can really share. Things that get ranked number one organically are, you know, high quality articles or high quality pictures that have been shared with many, many real people uh, that have backlinks and all that. So uh, let's get into SEO for individual pages and posts. So we're going to start by adding a new page here. Uh, perhaps this hospital needs an information page about, you know, what we offer. So. Yeah, here you see the title is given. And notice how as I type, there's a preview at the bottom here of what it looks like in Google. So Lucas Hospital main page or home page. Page. Okay, so this is very bad SEO text, right? It's not very enticing, but you get the point. Yeah, just going through it quickly here and you can see this um, plugin gives you a preview of what it will look like in Google. Do people really read the gray text at the bottom? I would argue at first glance it has to be relevant to what I'm searching for. If I'm searching for Lucas Hospital, well, I better than well get the uh, unbiased version of the Lucas Hospital page and you'll notice we don't have ranking on Google yet this is just a test website and normally ranking takes about uh, anywhere from one month to one year to attain. Now that you've seen how the blue text looks on Google you probably want to spice up yours a little. Uh, you want to use good punctuation, you want to use capital letters, you don't want to spam caps lock per se, you want to look more professional. So I'm going to just say official website. Yeah, it's official and I'm going to add this little visit today to kind of, you know, a good SEO title has got to be very specific to what the user wants or a good piece of blog, let's say, it's got to be kind of, you know, interesting and unique and unexpected and certainly very catchy. So this is why I kind of like stressing out about the title. I'm just used to it. Every time I encounter a title, I, I look at a couple different versions. I kind of do some research. But you know what? Just, just for example, say we're just going to type whatever. Another important piece of terminology is, of course, the URL and permalink, and you can change that through SEO plugins. Uh, why you want to change that? It's because you just want it to look professional. You want to entice people to, you know, click on a link that doesn't look like scammy stuff, right? In this case, I'm going to use the plugin to customize my permalink a bit, just clean it up a little bit. Uh, I certainly don't want the Google crawler to get any miscommunications through my uh, permalink. Just so you know guys, this tool is really useful if you have an existing website and you kind of didn't know what you were doing with your permalinks. Like if you were just like copying a blog post or a page and you and then the permalink says Oh I'm recording. <laughs>